Hi, I'm Ivy Larson with HotAndHealthyLiving.com. For a full 30 minute workout, you want to start with 10 minutes of cardio. So if you're at home, you can do 10 minutes of jump rope or you can go for a walk or a jog. And if you're at a gym, you can hop on the elliptical trainer or the stationary bike. And then when you're done with the 10 minutes of a cardio warm up, then you're going to run through my 10 minute circuit workout two times through. And when you're done, you'll have a full 30 minute workout that incorporates strength training, flexibility, and cardio. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with our arms overhead and we're going to do a side lunge, abduction, knee hold. You have to fight to keep your balance. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Now it helps if you find a spot on the wall in front of you and try to stare at that. That helps with your balance. Knee hold. Abs in tight. Abduction, knee hold. We have three more. These are not easy. Abduction, knee hold. Two more. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. And this is working pretty much every major muscle in your lower body. And because we're adding the balance, it's also working your core. Okay, other side. Arms overhead. So side lunge, abduction, knee hold. It's a little trickier on the other side. Abduction, knee hold. You'll find it's easier for you to balance on one side versus the other. So you have to fight to, for symmetry. Side lunge, knee hold. We have four more right here. Try not to lose your balance. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Three more. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Stay strong. It's getting tough. Side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Last time, side lunge, abduction, knee hold. Hold, hold. Good. Okay. Arms overhead. Now we are going to dive down very, very, very slowly. Feel good pulling your hamstrings. Walking down to a push up in a plank position. Now we're going to add right knee, left knee, and then push up. Again, right knee, left knee, push up, right, left, and push up. Now make sure your abs are in nice and tight. Head is in line with your spine. This is a great body for your core and for every major muscle in your upper body, but it is not easy. Hang in there and push up. If you can't do the push ups, you can just hold the plank position. Push up again, knee, knee, and push up. Last time, knee, knee, and push up. Good job. Now walk back, separate your legs just slightly. And pull your abs in, and we're just going to hold and rest for a second. Heart rate should be elevated. Okay. And then roll back up. Okay, now this next exercise is a little bit tricky. We are going to grab weights. I am using five pound weights, but you can start with three. Both arms are overhead. Now again, this is a balancing position. So we are going to raise our right, our left leg and lower our right arm. So it's opposite arm opposite leg. And then down, up, hold, down. Now your heart rate should be elevated from those push-ups, so that would make this exercise extra tricky. But this is great for your upper body and also good for your core. Okay, hold tight though. You want to keep everything nice and tight. Down, a few more. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Try to keep your balance. Stare at that spot on the front of the wall. That'll help with your balance. Down, and don't rush the movement. Go nice and slow. Down, good job. A few more. Okay, we have four more right here. So that's one, down, abs tight. Two, down, and three, down, last time, four. Good job, okay, both arms in one hand, both weights in one hand. So now what you're going to do is you're going to bend your left leg ever so slightly. Your right leg is straight behind you and we are doing single leg deadlifts. So up, very, very slow. Hold and then come back up. Now again, this is a balancing exercise. And it's really, really good for the back of your legs, which happens to be my problem spot. <laughs> Down and then up. Do not rush the movement. Down, up. Okay, we have three more right here. 
So that's down, up, whew, it's getting tough. Down, you should feel this in the back of your leg, in, in your glutes, this should, their left leg especially should be burning. And then up, okay, switch sides. So the weights now are gonna be in your left arm. Okay, now you're gonna balance on your right leg, left leg is behind you, and then we are gonna come down, and then back up. Okay, we have eight on this side. Slightly bend your right leg, that's two. Notice how my shoulders are back. Three, always pull your abdominals in. Don't rush the movement, you don't wanna use momentum. You wanna work deep, deep, deep into the muscles. Okay, that's five, up, six, hang in there. Okay, two more right here. So that's one, oh, it's hard to keep your balance. And then the last one, two, my leg is burning. Okay, that is great for the back of your thighs. Okay, so we're gonna put the weights down. I'm gonna show you some tricep dips. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see how my elbows are bending. So you're gonna lift up, lift your butt up off the ground and you are gonna bend your elbows and then come back up. Now again, you wanna go slow and then up. This is great for the back of your arms, the tricep. This will pull that muscle in nice and tight, right to the bone. Get rid of those flabby back of the arms and then down. Again, keep everything nice and tight. Okay, we're gonna do a few more like this and then we are gonna go a little bit faster. So go real slow. Again, slow. Okay, now we're gonna speed it up for eight. Ready, here we go. One and two, pump it out. Three, four, triceps should be burning. Five, six and seven. Last time, eight, good job. Okay, come back, just stretch your arms behind you briefly. Okay, now onto your knees. These are called sissy squats, but they are not so easy. So you're gonna sit with your butt onto your heels and you're gonna come back and squeeze. Now you're squeezing your quads and you're also squeezing your butt and then you're coming back down. Up and squeeze tight, 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 and then back down. Again, tight, squeeze and then back down. This is a great isometric at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Back down again, squeeze. Back down, up. This will really help tighten and tone your lower body. It is a fabulous exercise for working deep into the muscles. And cellulite does not like this. <laughs> okay, again, squeeze, down, squeeze. We have four more right here. Thighs should be burning, one, and two, again, three, last time, four. Now hold, hold and squeeze, 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 and then release. Okay, one more exercise for your triceps. I'm gonna turn around so you can see. Sit up nice and tall, abs in tight, arms behind you, straight arms, and then we're gonna do little pulses, little tiny pulses. Again, this is burning out the back of your arms, your triceps, pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep going, shoulders are back. You're almost like trying to touch your thumbs together. Tiny, tiny pulses. Tighten the back of your arms. Squeeze your abs, pull your abs in nice and tight. Keep pulling, chest out. Squeeze, 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 tight, tight, tight. A few more. Keep going. Keep your arms straight. Make sure you're raising your arms as high behind your back as you can without compromising your form. Tiny pulses. Okay, and that's it. Back of your arm should be on fire. Okay, that's it. Just run through the circuit workout two times through. Remember to start your workout with 10 minutes of cardio. If you want to print the workout, you can go to hotandhealthyliving.com. Do this workout three times a week and you'll be on your way to getting fitter, firmer, faster.